Georgia Tech golf coming off a big win in the Maui Gym Intercollegiate in Arizona over the weekend. And here to talk with us about it on Tech Talks from your Georgia Tech men's golf team, Christo Lampret. Christo, congratulations. How does it feel to be an early season champion like that? Yeah, it's it's awesome to get off to a great start. And I mean, we, we practice hard in the off season to get going. So um, yeah, we're pleased, very pleased. You know, you not only won this event, but you also set a Georgia Tech team record for a 54-hole tournament by 12 strokes. As you guys prepared to go out west, what had you believe in that this team collectively was sitting on a really low score like that? I mean, we did feel like we have a really strong team this year. So um, leading up to qualifying uh, before the event, we had some really low scores coming out of qualifying. So we knew we could score that. I mean, it was out there. Uh, the golf course was very... It gave you, if you had good shots, you were going to score. So I think it just, it showed us how good we really played. It was really, I could, you know, I saw your head coach, Bruce Hempler, uh, coming in today, and he said that you were hitting some bombs out in Scottsdale. You were a runner up. You broke the individual 54 hole scoring record by two strokes at Georgia Tech. What pleased you so much about your play this weekend? I mean, funny enough, um, coach said I might have hit some bombs, but that's about two, three holes I've played. But, um, but uh, to be honest, it was it was kind of a golf course that didn't play to my strengths. It was kind of a golf course where you just need to place yourself in a good position and score from there. So I think that's probably the most thing I'm most proud of is I, I played on it really well on the golf course that didn't actually suit me as, as well as it normally does. Yeah, how much more confidence does that give you knowing that you were maybe playing a course that didn't suit your strengths, yet you still walk out of there with the runner-up finish? No, it's, it's, it's a really good feeling. It's a nice way to start the season. It's kind of build some confidence leading up to um, what we want to win in the end of the year. So, yeah, very pleased. Very, very pleased. And, and this team title, it was not a breeze. Had to fight off Clemson in a very tense finish. Of course, your goals are to win the national championship, but along the way, you want to be battle-tested. How valuable do you think this experience can be for your team as you continue to grow into what you hope will be a national championship team? Yeah, I mean, as as we talk, talk about national championships, nothing's going to come easy. Um, you're going to have to win, going to grind some few shots, win by a couple, or just win barely. Um, so I think it was a really good test for us to kind of be in that position where it's one one shot going going down the final hole. Um, and, um, yeah, it was really, really good to see the guys compete and come through with the win. All right, finally, Chris, so anybody who follows Georgia Tech Golf on social media saw the picture of you guys. And, you know, some tournaments you win a trophy. At the Maui Gym Intercollegiate, you win a giant longboard, surfboard, something like that. Uh, how exactly did you check that in? How, how did you actually get that on the plane to come back to Atlanta? It was confusing, definitely. People are asking us where, where exactly were you guys surfing in Arizona? Um, so it was kind of funny. But, I mean, yeah, it's kind of a unique trophy. It was kind of weird, but very cool. And yeah, it's it was kind of, it was just a funny story. Yeah, something tells me you couldn't fit that in the overhead. I at least hope that they gave you for your runner-up finish some leg room uh, on the way back. For those who don't know, Christo is six a tallest golfer in Division One and maybe across all divisions. But uh, no matter what, that flight had to be a fun one to share with you and your teammates, huh? No, it was for sure. We got we got a pretty pretty nice flight back, and um, it was yeah, good celebrations for sure. Very nice. The first team title and hopefully not the last, not just in the fall, but in the spring as well. Crystal Lamprey, congratulations on you and the Jackets coming home with the Maui Gym Intercollegiate title. Thanks for joining us here on Tech Talks. Thanks. Thanks for having me.